don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. And that goes off a body. The Panthers have played from the defensive zone. The Oilers have the puck now. Quick feed to McDavid. Slick feed. Sends the pass over. Oh, what a save on the play! Whoa. He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. McDavid's wheel zone ability means he can move past everyone with his great skating speed. Kachuk's got that it's tricky zone ability, and we all know about his knack for pulling out highlight reel moves that can be very effective. Now, as I send it back upstairs, I'll be watching out for one of these players to give their team a chance to win tonight. Nice zone entry on the left side. Here's a short pass to Echo. Puts it on net. Oh, he just misses. What an opportunity there. Well, just is a big word, James, because when you have an opportunity like this from a primetime scoring area, you have to finish it off. He doesn't even hit the net. Slides the puck to Kachuk. Picks off the pass. The Oilers will play it through the neutral zone. Jabs the puck away. Moves it to Verhage. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Great reach with the poke check by Bouchard. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Nugent Hopkins picking up steam. Here's a pass in front. And that's intercepted. Barkov's gaining momentum. Takes a shot. Makes the glove stop. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Still no score in this one. Edmonton's got the win off that draw. And he takes the dish. Jocelyn for the puck and he loses control. Handles the pass. Line of the net and missed. Oh man, that is so frustrating. He gets the look that he wants. He gets to the right spot on the ice and then he just misses. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. On the attack along the boards. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Can't get it to go. Slides the puck ahead to Ekblad. The Panthers are in transition. Pokes the puck away. The Oilers gain possession. Tries to get it to Perry. Edmonton's got the puck against the boards. Shuts him down. Quick pass to Perry. Oh, spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Play continues here, but this crowd's still buzzing after what we saw. What a stop that was. Oh, uh, yeah, and they're saying thank you to the goaltender right now, James. They're still on their feet. They're electric right now. And really, it's a nice feeling. Why? Because it doesn't always go this way. So when you have it, you embrace it. Past the midway mark in this period. Still looking for our first goal. And they win the draw here in their own end. Slides the puck over. Moves around along the half wall. Makes a save. Florida's got a hold of it against the wall. James, you want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. Florida's four check finally breaks through as they get on the board here late in the first. Now, uh, good teams find ways to be successful, and they do just that. And they've been clawing their way through to the offensive end all game long, and they finally get rewarded. Runs on hard into the wall. Power forwards drive lanes and they drive bodies, and that one's perfectly executed. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Stetcher's got it in the defensive end. Headman pass. The Oilers move to the offensive zone. Florida's gained possession along the boards. Good heads up play with the bank pass. They dump it in and get off for a breather. 
Florida's got the puck. Handles the puck at the point. Takes the pass. Off target. Edmonton's gained possession. Moves the puck along the half wall. Just gets enough to keep it out. Oh, big time hit along the wall. And this is why I'm glad I'm up here in the suit, Cheryl. Man, and I'm right there with you, James. I wouldn't want to be along those boards either. It almost looked like he left his feet early, but nonetheless, it's a bone crusher. All right, time to get a clean sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end. As you heard the horn sound, we'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun one too. Teams are back on the ice. Both squads gliding into position for the start of period number two. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Edmonton's been struggling to manage the puck. They've been coughing it up all over the ice, and it almost looks like there's a lack of communication out there. They need to start talking, know where each other is going to be, and execute on those passes. We got a stop, and just the puck sails over the glass. Lots of time left in this period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Edmonton's going to start with the puck in their own end. And he passes it up ahead to Dreisaitl. Here's an odd man rush. Shot, oh, scores! Leon Dreisaitl. He gets the shot off the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. Edmonton's really changed the complexion of this game. Look at this. We're all evened up here in period number two, Cheryl. Yeah, and to do it at the beginning of the second is key. You really want to dictate pace and send a direct message to your opponent, and they do that with that goal. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle, and it dies on his stick. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Dreisaitl's been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. Florida's got it in the defensive zone. Through center. Inside the offensive end, now down the left. Moves it quickly over to Kane. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Quick feed to Nugent Hopkins. Gains the zone from the right side. He grabs the puck here at the point. And he can't hang on after that hit. Swap up, swap up. Oh, he caught him. Oh, and that's a thunderous hit along the boards. It's bone crushing, James. You feel that one right from your toes all the way up to your shoulders. Talk about finishing a check. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Florida's got possession here in the neutral zone. The Panthers take it along the wall. Here's a chance in front, and that's stopped. Play is whistled dead as the puck goes up and over. Still lots of time left here in this frame. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. With the bank pass. Here we go, on man rush here. Tremendous athletic stop with the club by Bobrovsky. What an incredible save in a high danger scoring area. I mean, right in the slot, he's in perfect position to make that club save. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Florida's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Slides the puck to Oposo. Textbook stop by Skinner. Grabbed along the board by Bennett. Oh, there's the board! Here's a short pass to Oposo. Oh, he put it just wide as it hits the outside of the post. And he was ready for that save. We're gonna face off after the puck stays coming up. Zion's close quarter zone ability means he's more accurate when he's in tight to the blue paint. Guys, defenders don't want to let him in close to their net. 
The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. And it's a quick pass to McLeod. Poked away at center by Edwin Larson. Pinned up along the boards. Florida's got it in their own zone. Up along the wing. Taken along the wall by Reinhardt. Edmonton's got the puck in their own end. The Oilers play it along the boards. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Picked up along the wall by Kachuk. Here he is in close. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Reinhardt. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Poked away by Kulikov. Picking up momentum inside the neutral zone. Fires it. Fantastic save. Skinner's all over that shot. Makes an incredible save. Getting to the top of his crease quickly. Because that shot, it came fast and in a hurry from the slot. They've got numbers here. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Bobrovsky's got the puck and he's going to hang on. Here in the late goings of the period, we are all tied up in this one. Lorenz wins the defensive zone faceoff. The Panthers cross the line and gain the zone. Quick shot, and it comes up with the save. Big save by the goaltender once again. Organize them again. Skinner's been dominant in the crease tonight. He's turned away a lot of high danger shots, and he's really found a way to score. The go ahead goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. The goalie coaches work all the time with one screen or one player in front, James, and he's got to do a good job of finding this puck. I mean, it just beats him clean. The Oilers are in the driver's seat now with that one goal lead and timing, Cheryl, late here in this period. That's huge. That's a huge booster for them, James, not only in terms of their confidence, but also the recognition of where they are heading into the intermission. Now it's about staying aggressive, but managing the puck. They need good blue line decisions. Just slide to the net. Sends it quickly to Henrik. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. Florida's looking to break out. Fires the end of the offensive zone. Lorenz isn't taking no for an answer, James. I mean, he's... He's got a step! Big save just as time runs out. Well, there you go. Two periods down. One more to go, at least for now, right? Third period just around the corner. Fans are buzzing. Teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third. Officials have dropped the puck for the third period. Let's go. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? The Panthers haven't had any possession time, James, and as a result, they haven't played in any offense. Their opponent has really taken it to them, really worn them down, put them on their heels, and they spend a lot of time in their own zone. Florida's got a hold of the puck. Works it across to Forsling. Takes a shot. Club save. Skinner's got the puck and hangs on for a whistle here in this third period. Well, he's been one of their best players all night. A reason why they're leading here in the third, James. But it's not just about the save. It's about managing the puck and making the decisions when to hold on. The Panthers will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Got eyes on the play. Skinner's made a great save. And even better is the redirect to the corner. Moves it to the middle. They score! and a great pass to finish it off. Lots of time left in this period. It's all tied up. Barkov's won the draw. Montour's got it against the boards. Stop with ease. Moves it 
to Rodriguez. Back to the blue line. Unloads one. And then carries off a body in traffic. Quick pass to Henrique. Edmonton's on the attack. Oh, what a save in front. He well, makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive. He's competitive and he wins the battle. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. The Panthers carry it along the wall. Here's a chance! Stars! And we take a drive to Clutch City as they take the lead! Well, the lead is in their hands, and now it's about building off of that. Good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone. Everything now is on the line. When you're one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender, you want to make them move first. And this is exactly what happens as the shooter just outweights the goalie and gets the room up high. Great glove high shot. The Panthers now have the lead here in period number three, and it's crunch time now. It is crunch time, and it's crush time, James. I mean, it's been back and forth all game. Now you find yourself in the lead, so you have the momentum. You've killed your opponents, so continue to hold it, continue to apply the pressure. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. There's a shot! And we'll get a reset after the puck goes up and out of play. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Panthers are looking to build on this one goal lead. Florida's won the draw. Knocked around but keeps it going. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Puts it on net, and that one's turned away. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Florida's been working hard away from the puck, and they're using their awareness to take away angles and seams. And this is something they're doing with their stick positioning. Coach talked about it pregame, how important it was going to be. Skinner's got it, and the officials blow the play dead. Well, and this is a smart play. He's been dialed in all night and recognizes that he doesn't want his team to make any mistakes. The safe play sometimes is to hold on. Florida's motor has been non-stop tonight. Lots of shots on net, and they lead in the third. The Panthers win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. And now he tries to get it across to Tarasenko. Here's a chance! Let's go! Right on the doorstep! The rebound there to be had! And they made no mistake about tucking that one home. Not that you call taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound, and you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. Florida's in the driver's seat now, up by two in this third period. Oh yeah, and it's been a consistent effort from start to finish here, James. Now they gotta make sure that they play this last little bit the same way they started. Aggressive on the puck, but be cautious when they need to. Sometimes the simple play is the effective one. Moves it quickly over to Cece. Here's a shot. Oh, club save and a beauty. Just fantastic work by the goaltender, making consecutive saves. How athletic. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Panthers have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Quick feed to Eckholm. Moves the puck. Huge steal at his own end. Puck hops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to do it over from center. The Oilers have it now. Scores! Well, just what the doctor ordered, and they cut into the lead. Oh, uh, yeah, after that goal, you can sense the momentum shift, James, and it's all about swinging and seeing if they can string a couple of good shifts together and get the equalizer. They've narrowed it within one. Edmonton's got one back here in the third. But they still need another. They're going to have to swarm the puck and find a way to retrieve it. And it's shot selection as well. Good opportunities. Get to the slot and find a way to convert. Puck picked up by Echo. Here's a short pass to Kane. He gets a piece of it with his trapper. Nice play. Kane keep a hold of the puck after that play. And he slides it quickly to Echo. Here's a shot. Great save by Bobrovsky. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. There's a stop, but 
a blocker by Skinner. Moves it to Henrique. And he takes the feed. Scooped up along the wall by Bouchard. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. Quick pass to McDavid. Grabs control of it at the point. Blocked by the defender. Nice play. Inside of the last minute here in this third. Stop that one. Kabowski's helping his team with his rebound control and really keeping the puck away from the front of the net. To the empty net. Edmonton's trailing. That's why they've got the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. Great heads up play to poke it away at the offensive end. Wax it into the offensive zone. Battle along the boards. Jocelyn for the puck and it's knocked away. Denies him! This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice is in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. And that's blocked in traffic. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Picked up along the boards. But scores into the end. On the dying moments of the game, they get the empty netter, James, and that's just a result of having urgency, making sure they protect the middle of the ice, and hey, they get it down the ice and get the empty netter to boot. The Panthers' persistence pays off as they get the empty netter, and that should probably do it here for this one, Cheryl. Yeah, that should be the insurance marker, James. They've got a comfortable lead now. They can all breathe a little bit lighter, and that should finish it off.